G'day, hi, and welcome. Okay, can you ever have enough line on a boat? I don't know. Uh, and it's not called rope, it's called line. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you a little trick, especially for new sailors, how to, uh, you see i got a line here. See, it looks pretty good, it's a nice loop. What I do is, uh, even though it's going to be a bit tangly coming up, there's a natural, you can see the rope line curves naturally in a, in a direction. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but there's always a natural curve to it. And sometimes it'll start to twist or whatever, and you can, uh, you know, just try to get it so that it keeps with its normal. See, it twists a bit there, so, okay, fine, I'll just go that way. And, it, and it'll just fold in naturally. Uh, so I want to get this a little more untangled. Uh, if you do it right, you don't have all these tangles all the time. A lot of times you can just shake it. And it'll just come just come apart because it's like the line is just basically sitting there loose anyway, so it's, there's nothing snagging or tight on it. Uh, but a lot of times too is people they put it around their arm and they do that. Don't do that. Uh, real marine rope uh, usually doesn't hold a memory, so it means you can just loop it on nice and smooth and easy like that without it uh, doing this on you. Like the, this stuff here is the the uh, basically nylon rope is the worst. It it never it holds a memory, so it kind of just seems to get jangled on you, jangled on you, so that it doesn't work right, uh, and it, it you can never seem to to get it nice and smooth. So I'm gonna shake all that, out. and again, nice and loose. You just let it coil itself. You should do this whether it's a guitar cable, uh, an electric cable. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, and then you just leave it like that. So when you go to do it, it doesn't just naturally tangle. Now this stuff, you can see, you can try to do that. But over time, you can see, like, it just doesn't want to do it. But you can do that with this stuff, too. But it just tends to, you know, that there you don't really use for anything important. Some dock lines or neoprene. These are the cheap ones. I use these as, uh, you know, just spares. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you see that... It's the best you're going to get that one, like it holds a memory. But you can see like the marine rope, it doesn't hold a memory, it just kind of follows. But it does follow a, a natural order. Uh, these are probably the best you can get uh, on the market. Uh, maybe not the absolute best, but they're the better ones. That, they don't hold memory. But one thing, a little tip is, even if you got stuff, never throw any of this stuff out. Unless you're overwhelmed on your boat and you're just like, I got too much line on your boat. Let's see, I got two lines here. This is marine rope, so again, it doesn't hold a memory, so it just kind of flops apart the way you want. And the thing is, is that uh, when you get it, okay, uh, number one, you're never, ever, ever going to have enough line on your, on, your, uh, on your boat. So it's always good to have spare lines. Things break, uh, especially if you're at a dock that, uh, you know, is not protected by a harbor or something like that. What, what usually ends up happening is... The rope will frail, or the line will frail, rubbing against the dock, and you come back and your boat's like, you know, there's only one there, and it's, the wind's bashing your boat back and forth amongst the dock. And that happens, uh, there's there's ways around it, but it, 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 that happens quite more, more often than you want. So people think the solution is just buy thicker line. But that's it, not the, the issue. It's what you have to think about is, okay, whether it's... Uh, a quarter inch line like this or half inch line like this it's not that one is stronger than the other it's how long does it take it to be sheared on the on the dock and that's what wears out your line uh, so it's a good idea when you have all the lines you need to tie down your 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 boat buy double if you have the funding if you can't afford it right on the spot maybe buy um, you know buy an extra dock line like the, these specific dock lines you can buy them you know they are kind of pricey but they look good anyway but but maybe buy a couple of spare ones whenever you get extra cash you know even if it, is, it might not seem like a priority but it is it, and you only not realize it when you see the other line halfway chewed apart um it's like that's the strongest line the most expensive line but yet it gets chewed apart but what's happening is it's, it's rubbing on the dock like this you know or like this uh, as as the wind blows the boat back and forth, and the, you tie the you, you tie down the boat right to the to the cleats on the dock and on your boat, and you're like, okay, well, it's nice and tight. It's not going to go anywhere. I got my boat bumpers out. Everything's good. Yeah, 
looks pretty good, eh? Oh, a little bit loose there, but anyway. Uh, so now that's easy to grab and easy to use. Uh, but then what happens is, like I say, as, as the boat is bouncing back and forth, what you end up with is the, that shearing of the boat bouncing back and forth and then rubbing against the dock. And it's that rubbing against the dock that chews through the line. Uh, sometimes, yes, the tension of the boat just going, you know, in, back and forth. So you, you, you tie the, the boat down so that the boat is sitting level with the dock. You never tie it so that it actually pulls the boat down like this because uh, then there's no flex and all it does is just, and then it snaps the line. So it's kind of getting that perfect balance where the boat is tight against the dock with the bumpers in between so that the boat's not, you know, if this is your dock, the boat's not doing like this or this or going out, come back. And, and over time, these things will stretch so that you will get that. And you, you know, you come out a couple of weeks later when you haven't seen your boat in a week and it's like doing this. You know the lines are fine, but it's just that it just it worked its way loose. So you want to you want it so that it's snug, but not so tight that it it, it overstresses the the uh, the line and just snaps. You got to give it some give, but it's if you give it too much give, then it just keeps stretching and stretching and stretching. And if it's also too loose, what happens is every time it stretches, it'll shear. And then you know, it might take a night, might take a, a week, it might take whatever. But if you get a really windy day where the boats and the docks are really flexing up and down like that, there are things you can do. Some people put, uh, uh, you know, they tape them up, they do whatever. But it's just a good idea to have a couple of spare lines uh, because there are people that, you know, it's like they come back to the dock slip and it's like, where's your dock? Oh, your boat, or where's my boat? It's like, somebody stole my boat. No, 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 it's over there on the rocks because your, your lines broke free on you. That stuff has happened. <laughs> you know. um, other things too is, uh, let's look at this line here um, for my my traveler, the, the boom bang traveler. Okay, this line here this is old. Uh, this is probably as old as this line. It's still good. I mean, it's, you know, plenty strong. It's just a, it's it's old. Uh, so it wouldn't, doesn't hurt to replace this every couple of years. Uh, even if you're just doing it for cosmetic reasons, uh, the line is still fine and can be useful to have as a spare. So never throw away old line, even if they don't look good. Um, like I say, unless you're getting such a pile of, of, of line that it's like, okay, I don't have any more storage room because my villages are full of dock line and, and I've got, you know, 900 spare feet of dock line. Well, okay, well then in that case, yeah. You don't need any more, but it's a good idea. You can use these for other things. Um, let's say you had this spare one and something happens and this line snaps on you, uh, which can happen. Uh, you know, these things do snap sometimes. Um, and uh, when that happens, uh, then what you're stuck with is a, a situation where you, you don't have anything to replace it with and then you can't go sailing. Or you're stuck out in the middle of the water somewhere and you can't get back home because <laughs> whatever uh what happened here well that's a gerbil that's not supposed to do that's that's a soup i ordered anyway i'll just pull that there this is supposed to go over here uh so yeah so always keep your uh spare lines uh however you got to keep them uh keep them and uh I'm all dribbled here. Uh, and, and any old lines, again, if they're still got life in them like this, hang on to them too because they could be your, your emergency pinch, get, uh, get, me, get me to safety or keep the boat from, you know, uh, ending up snapping all the other lines. Or you could use, uh, you know, a combination of just doubling up on your lines if you want or whatever. But no matter what, you're good for the season that you don't have to worry about, okay, well, you busted that dock line and, you know, uh, you go, sometimes it's not even a cost issue. It's sometimes, remember, especially up here in Canada, boating equipment in the stores is seasonal a lot of times. Like, uh, there's like the ship's Chandley and a few other, like Hearst Marina. Yeah, they always got that stuff in stock. Uh, but like Canadian Tire or whatever, half, by the time you get into August, all the boat supplies are coming off the shelf, right? They're, they're going into fall mode. Stuff like that. So some stuff will be out there, but keep that in mind too, that you might be somewhere out and about that uh, there is no place to go buy extra line. Have it, not need it. Need it, not have it. Keep that in mind. 
Anyway, I just thought that was a short little tip that I could uh, put out there. And, uh, yeah, just something to do with the, you know, just keep that in mind. All right, anyway, have yourselves a great day.